A group of Democrats are just furious about the American action in Libya, especially since the president didn't go to Congress and ask for permission for the action. In fact, Ohio Congressman Dennis Kucinich suggests it's an impeachable offense. And Congressman Kucinich joins me now. All right, so Congressman, impeachment, really? Well, I raised the question. I didn't uh, say that I think that a resolution ought to be put to Congress because the president is acting outside of the authority of the Constitution. There is no question about that whatsoever. We have a standing army, though, and uh, of course Congress, when it needs to and raise troops, has great power. But when we have a standing military prepared to act at the president's command, that a lot of presidents have given that command. I mean, you have James Polk to Zachary Taylor in 1846 saying, yeah, go ahead, occupy Texas territory. And then he goes to Congress a week later to tell them that war already exists. Abraham Lincoln used force in the Civil War. You had uh, Truman sending armies to Korea without first asking permission. George H.W. Bush. You had Clinton in Bosnia. The list goes on and on. What makes this out of the ordinary? This is a copy of the Constitution of the United States. A plain reading of Article 1, Section 8 says that only Congress has the power to declare war. But we haven't declared war. Well, you know what, though? We are in a war. The president articulated that U.S. troops, or rather U.S. forces, are being sent into combat. There's no need to parse that. I mean, we know exactly what's going on. You know what's going on. 100 Tomahawk missiles, we have uh, uh, Barry McCafferty says that there's uh, 82,000 pound bombs that'll be delivered. Look, a decision was made to take America forces into a war. He didn't consult with Congress, and that's a matter of fact. Now, what the consequences are politically, you know, we'll see. But the fact is we're going to spend a half a billion dollars in the first week on this war. We don't have the resources. We're, we're at four different fronts now, Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and now Libya. What is going on in America? So we have money for endless wars, and we can't take care of things here at home. Congressman, if you so disagree with the president's leadership on this, you could introduce a bill under the 1973 War Powers Act. If it's passed, it would force U.S. forces to withdraw from that conflict within 60 days unless the president comes to Congress and gets approval. Why not take that formal action? I'm, I'm, you know, there's a question as to whether the War Powers Act is even constitutional in that it does limit Congress's uh, express authority under Article One, Section 8. Uh, and so we go 60 days down the, down the road, it's, you know, we're in deeper in a war. If you don't have uh, a recognition that Congress is a co-equal branch of government here, that Congress has the first say as to whether or not we commit people to war. If you don't recognize that, then what we've done is we've set America on the path of even more adventurism. There are problems all over the world, Yemen, Bahrain, where there's conflict going on between government and people. If we keep intervening, we're going to destroy our own nation. Congressman Kucinich, it's good of you to join me today and share your perspective. Thank you. Thank you very much.